Today I'm fixing a recipe that uh, my daughter, daughter-in-law Brooke makes a lot. And especially at Christmas time, I guess, cause it's the color of Christmas. But uh, it's hot, it's hot here in Savannah. Sweat's dripping off my hair right now. And uh, so I want cool things to eat. And this is definitely a cool thing. It's Brooks strawberry pretzel salad. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is make our crust using crushed pretzels, sugar, and a stick and a half of melted butter. And that's gonna get baked off at 400 degrees for about seven minutes. Our first step is to melt a stick and a half of butter. Not margarine, but butter. Our butter is melted. Now to our melted butter, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. And now I'm gonna stir in my crushed pretzels. So you get it. We're gonna have a sweet and savory. Sweet and salty, I do love, love, love that. You give me a candy bar with some salt in it and some sweet, <laughs> and I am a happy, happy girl. All right, now this is the crust for our salad. And we're gonna bake this off for about seven, seven minutes, not long. On like 400 degrees. Okay. Wow, that's just an amazing smell. Just I know. <laughs> I can live off of that. Butter and pretzels. With sugar. With sugar, yes. <clears throat> I'm just going to use my little measuring cup to try to get it mashed down pretty even, as even as I can. All right, now I'm going in with a utensil that's the best of all. <laughs> and that's these grubby little hands. Okay, let me check my notes. And yes, we're gonna bake this for seven minutes. And you're gonna need to allow your crust to cool before you start putting your layers on it. And we have let this crust get nice and cool. And you got the sweet and the salty here. It's gonna be so good. I've got fresh whipped cream. Now I think Brooke uses a, a frozen cream product, but you know, anytime it calls for that product, I always use fresh whipped cream. Fresh, fresh this whipped cream. <laughs> and I sweeten it, and uh, it to me, it's just good. So, for this next layer, I'm gonna put in eight ounces of cream cheese. Come on, fall over. <laughs> and I'm gonna mix in my sugar. And I think that was like three fourths of a cup of sugar. Oh, we're gonna scoop this around. And um, I got that on low speed to start with. Now, uh, Brooke uses strawberries to make this particular salad but you know I don't see why you couldn't do it with other fruits like blueberry I know I used to make a blueberry pie that had this same kind of crust and the cream cheese and then fresh blueberries so you know whatever what is whatever is in season I think the blueberries would be wonderful 
but uh, since we're coming up on the 4th of July, I may dot this with some blue ribbons because we're going to have our, our uh, red, our white, and we ain't got no blue right now. So we may find something to put a little blue in the picture. Okay, this is nice and creamy. Now we're going to fold in our fresh whipped cream. And we don't want to do this part with a mixer because we don't want it to break down or over whip our whipping cream. So you know the drill for folding over, under, and back again. Takes a few minutes, but this is really the best technique. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <laughs> I'm starving. Mm. About there, y'all. Right now, I think it's safe to give a little stir. Make sure it's all mixed up. Oops. All right. Now we're going to spread this layer evenly over our first layer. Getting every last drop, as I'm known to do. I can't wait to get back into my kitchen, y'all. Uh, where I've got lots and lots of room. This kitchen has been wonderful. I'm so thankful that Bobby was gracious enough to let Mikey and I come live in their guest house. But uh, <laughs> I am looking forward to getting a little bigger kitchen back. Mm. You know, this is called a salad, y'all. <laughs> but uh, I think it just as easily can be a dessert, especially during the summertime. Okay, that's it. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next layer. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator because uh -huh. it needs to chill. Oh, I think yeah. so too. So, we have two packages of strawberry jello. So has this ball to reach? Yes, ma'am. I okay. literally just turned it off. Okay. So we are going to um, dissolve our jello and allow it to cool just slightly, y'all. What does that mean, Paula? What? When it says just slightly. <laughs> just slightly. Well, I mean, does that mean it doesn't mean cold. Okay. It doesn't mean cold. Uh, it just means give it a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes, okay. you know, to just cool off a little bit. What is it? Nobody's here to visit you. Okay, now this one, this particular strawberry salad, uh, we're using pineapple. We're gonna put some pineapple in it as well. You don't have to, but we are. 
we're going to use one eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. And uh, we're going to add it to the cooled gelatin along with our strawberries. So that's it. 15 minutes and I think that will do it. We just don't want to put our beautiful strawberries into scalding hot boiling water because it will break them down. And we don't want our strawberries broke down. So there we go. Now if you want to, you could always sit this in the refrigerator and encourage it to cool a little bit quicker. Which is what we're gonna do. Which is what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all, I put that gelatin in the refrigerator to help it cool along. And we gave it like 15 minutes. So that's slightly, slightly cooled. Now to that, well, I'm gonna do it this way, I think. Let's do it this way. Mm. Mm. Eddie, I don't have any strength left in my hands. You want me to come open it? Well, if you can. Oh. I don't, I don't, it's amazing how, uh, how much strength as you get older that you lose in your hands. Um, Aunt Peggy was with us on vacation last week, and she is the same way. I said it's frustrating that <laughs> well, to lose that those, strength. What are those things that you can do to? Yeah, yeah, those rubber things. Yeah, whatever they are. <laughs> I just need to do hand exercise and get my strength back. <laughs> All right, so we got our strawberries. And to that, I'm gonna add our pineapple, and I'm not draining it. Look at the beautiful colors on it, it's so pretty. All right. And I'm just gonna pour our gelatin, our slightly cooled gelatin. And we're gonna stir this together. My mama used to make strawberry jello and put sliced bananas in it. Oh, I loved it. We had I every kind of jello known to man. That, Did that you? was a staple, it seems like. <laughs> How about you, Eddie? Did your mom do jello? Oh, yeah. With fruit? It's a geriatric, my children call it a geriatric side dish. <laughs> Is it really? And that's what my boys say, because the old ladies they met, they like it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm using a ladle, so I'll have a little bit more control over where this goes. And my mother also used to make, and it's in my first cookbook, I believe it is, um, a lemon lime gelatin salad that was so good, it had a little bit of horseradish in it and mayonnaise, and it was just delicious. So just like any Jello now, this is gonna have to sit, y'all. And we're gonna have to wait a little bit before I can dig into it. In fact, we may have to wait more than a little bit. <laughs> might, might have to wait till tomorrow, I don't know. But isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. And Teresa, I know you want the honors. Of, of course I do. Where you want it. Let me make sure that's spread out. I just have a spot at this point. I figured you did. So, strawberry. G G <laughs> geriatric. <laughs> strawberry gelatin salad. I like it, so those boys can keep teasing me because I'm, I just like it. Well, our beautiful strawberry salad has firmed up nicely. Oh my gosh, that pretzel crust 
when you bake it off, it gets so nice and firm in there. Mmm. 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 This really could maybe stand a little bit longer in the refrigerator, but. All right, now let's see how bad I'm gonna mess this first piece up. <laughs> Once you get that first piece out, it does cut nicely, y'all. I promise. Like I said, this is not quite firm enough, but I do want to show y'all what this looks like. Now, I want to show y'all what it tastes like. It's so good. <clears throat> See that pretzel crust? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's so crunchy and sweet and salty. Mm. It's so delicious. It's hard to believe that I'm eating a salad. <laughs> I just had a salad for lunch. Did I forget to say it? <laughs> Didn't have but a cup of sugar in it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. So delicious, y'all. If you've never fixed it before, you must. You must try it. And remember, you know, change up your fruit with blueberries or raspberries or whatever your favorite berry is. It'd be delicious with blueberries. Mmm. I took too big a bite, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not in best issues. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.